hamstrings. I'm gonna show you the basic exercises that I use to develop my hamstrings. I do a laying down leg curl. Sometimes I do a seated leg curl, but I always do a stiff legged deadlift in between sets with about a 10 pound plate to help stretch the hamstrings out. Very important that you stretch those hamstrings out because that's what helps give you that hamstring separation that, it, that looks really spectacular. I want you to pay attention to how I do these exercises. It's a little different than what you might see everybody else doing. I concentrate on the form, not so much the weight. And when I get at the completion of the exercise, I'm squeezing my hamstring muscles just like I'm trying to make a muscle in my bicep. That's what gives you that roundness to the back of your hamstring. So pay attention, watch how I do this. All right, first exercise, laying on your belly, hamstring curls. This machine here, is at a decline for the upper body to go down and it keeps your hips elevated, which I particularly like because it takes the stress off the lower back. I had an L5S1 fine fusion and laying completely flat on my belly bothers that sometimes. But with me being lifted up in the middle by the waist area on this decline going down really helps me concentrate and gets a lot of muscle engagement when I do these hamstring curls. I also don't lay completely flat on the bench. I'm gonna be resting up on my elbows, so watch how I do this. Okay, my waist is at the middle of the bench. My legs are underneath the pads and I'm resting on my elbows, okay? I'm gonna curl this weight up and I'm gonna squeeze it at the top like I'm making a muscle in my bicep. I'm gonna to try to make a muscle in my hamstrings. And when I do this, my feet are gonna be curled upward. A lot of people do them straight, curl them upward, come up, squeeze, and come down. Control the reps, squeeze, and come down. Just like that. You don't have to do this exercise fast. Keep the good rhythm of the reps going, but always make sure that you have good muscle engagement. You don't want to come out to a, a complete lockout because you lose the muscle engagement. So if you see what I'm doing, it's pretty much a partial. It's a partial rep. I'm not going all the way down. I'm keeping the tension on the muscles, just like this, okay? You can drop set this. You can set the pin to where you're comfortable to get that high rep, like the 25 plus reps. When you hit that number, pull the pin, one plate, two plates, depending on how many plates you got on there, and do reps to failure. Then do it again, reps to failure. I'm telling you, your hamstrings are gonna be screaming. What I do next is a stiff-legged deadlift. I will grab a 10 pound plate, and I will keep my legs locked together, my knees back, and I will just let gravity pick my upper body all the way down, stretching the hamstrings that I just did all those repetitions on. I'm stretching the muscle fascia out. So watch how I do this. All right, I have a 10 pound plate. I see a lot of people use a lot of weight. I'm not gonna say it's wrong. It's not necessary. This isn't a weight game. This is a stretching game. All you wanna do is stretch the hamstrings out that you just annihilated on the hamstring curls. So I got a 10 pound plate. All I'm gonna do, and I'll turn my back to show you, my feet are together, my knees are locked back, I'm gonna hold the plate in my hands, and I'm just gonna let my upper body come slowly down to the ground. I'm not bouncing, I'm stretching my hamstrings, just like this. As I go down, I blow out. Now, I can only go over so far because I had that L5-S1 spine fusion. But I am still getting a very good stretch in my hamstrings. You wanna do this about 10 or 15 reps. That'll help get a good stretch. Then when you're done, go right back on the leg curls. 
Either start with the same weight if you think you can, lighten the weight up a little bit, and then go reps to failure. You want your hamstrings to get so engorged with blood like any other muscle group, and hamstrings should be trained like any other muscle. If you want growth, you have to annihilate them. And then supersetting the stiff-legged deadlift in between helps you get all the separation between the hamstring, because the hamstring is not just one muscle, it's several muscles and all the finger muscles. You want all that separation in the hamstring, and these two exercises will do it. There's a lot of hamstring exercises. There's a bunch of hamstring exercises. I've always stuck to the basics. You guys heard me say it in so many of my videos. I'm a basic bodybuilder. I don't do fancy. I didn't do fancy back in the day. I'm not going to do fancy now. It's all about effective workouts and keeping the muscle time under tension. Okay, come back in a second. I'm going to close this video out. All right, to give you a recap, you saw me do the laying down leg curls and the stiff-legged um, deadlift with just a 10-pound plate. All that does is stretch the hamstring, it stretches the muscle fascia out in between sets. You can do seated hamstring curls. They're very effective. Not gonna tell you they're not. They're very effective. But for me, the laying down hamstring curls work best. Everyone is different when it comes to what works best for them. You know what works best for you. Just make sure that you incorporate the mind-muscle connection, muscle engagement, and check the ego at the door. You do not need to use excessive amounts of weight when you're doing these exercises correctly. You just don't. So I hope you guys got some value out of this video. In the description below, there's a link to the Buy Me A Coffee site. It has my Transformation X 16-week comprehensive training program where I am your online coach for 16 weeks. I take you through everything that was taught to me in the 43 years of guidance that I've had with Bob Gruskin. And I teach it to you, and I help you achieve your goals, whether they are building muscle and burning fat, reversing your type 2 diabetes, wanting to be that competitive bodybuilder, or just the everyday person that likes to go to the gym and wants to see a difference in their body or the over 40 or over 50, over 60 crowd that wants to get in the best shape of their lives. I'm the guy to help you get you there. I got 43 years in this industry and I've worked with hundreds of people, okay? Thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the gym. Peace out.